I'm so excited about our third annual WIT conference. We began this program three years ago to give our high school girls in the Young People's Course of New York City the opportunity to connect with our incredible alumni. We also wanted to add to that mix women from the New York City community who have so much experience and wisdom to bring to our young girls. This year's theme is integrity in politics, journalism, and the arts. The main quality of integrity is being honest. Integrity is a foundation of your character, and the word I want you to remember is honesty. Probably one of the most important words that you'll hear and keep in your heart, in your mind, as you move forward in your lifetime. Looking around at current events and where we are in our country, I think it's very important that we take a second and recognize what are the qualities that we admire in people and what are the qualities that we aspire to have in ourselves. On Saturday, we're going to have three panelists. The first is our Manhattan Borough President, Gail Brewer. Uh, the second is Rahema Ellis, who is an NBC News correspondent. The third is, uh, her name is Eileen Perez, and she is playing Mimi in La Boheme at the Met. And she's fantastic. We're very excited to meet her. Just take a second to come up with three questions for me. This entire panel discussion, I want it to come from you. There are three things that YPC and WIT offers as a platform to help young women. Number one, perspective. Hearing what it's really like in the business world, in public life. Number two, confidence. And number three, the contacts. How has the media's coverage of the scandals in this presidential election affected the way that Americans view the candidates? How do you guys deal with negative comments? You find a way to not define who you are and your worth by those things, but instead you grow how you decide to grow and how you decide to empower yourself and turn those statements around. Too many times I find that people are very casual about what they say, how they say. What I would like to see is that all of us out here who have the power to persuade and influence, that we would take it as seriously as those of us who are professionals take it. Words have power. How do you know if you have what it takes to have a career as a performer? How do you as women maintain a confident and equal position to men in the workplace without being looked down upon? You are given a voice, use it. Whether it's the talent of singing, whether it's the talent of leadership, or it's the friendships that you nurture. You also have to speak up. You know, it's not my nature necessarily to be the loudest in the room, but you know, it's my nature to get something done. You are as qualified, as uh, determined, as entitled to be here as anybody. Today was special, the panel was special, and I think what the young people got out of it is that whether you're in the arts or in politics or in journalism, there's a common theme. I'm a YPC alum. I graduated from the chorus in 2004. This was the best WIT panel. I thought it was so relevant to the political environment that we're currently in and also in each panelist's work environment. After this event, I witnessed these young ladies learning so much regarding their own confidence, their poise, uh, presence and performance, as well as how to work towards your dream. I met Miss Perez. She gave me amazing advice. I learned that women aren't always a second hand, that women can be the first hand and are always just very important in society. To support our girls and to listen to their voices and encourage them and uplift them is incredibly important at this time. It gave me the confidence to not feel like I'm not equal to boys or like I'm not good enough. I learned like not to be afraid of like what you think, like you can speak up and like you could do anything. I hope that I even get to tell the stories of some of these young women at some point. I gotta pitch that. I gotta pitch that, but this was great.